Good morning, visitors. The Duluth Aerial Lift Bridge is now lifting to its full height of 135 feet to make way for the departure of the Tug and Barge, Dorothy Ann, and Pathfinder. Too short that you just heard is known as the captain salute. The vessels that you see departing are the tug and barge Dorothy Ann and Pathfinder. The barge Pathfinder was built as the steamer JL Mouth in 1953 by the Great Lakes Engineering Works of River Rouge, Michigan. She measures 606 feet in length, 70 feet in width, and 36 feet in depth. She has 19 hatches on her deck, which open into four cargo holds located below deck. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 26,700 tons. Above her deck, that thing that kind of looks like a crane, is a 250-foot self-unloading boom, which allows her to unload her own cargo without the aid of shoreside equipment. She's also equipped with a bow thruster to aid her maneuverability in port. The tug Dorothy Ann at the stern was built in 1998 by the Bay Shipbuilding Company of Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. She measures 124 feet in length, 44 feet in width, and 24 feet in depth. She's powered by two 7,200 horsepower Z-Drive EMD diesel engines, which give her a top speed of 14 knots or about 16 miles per hour. Both the Pathfinder and Dorothy Ann have a combined length of 700 feet. They are both owned and operated by the Interlake Steamship Company of Middleburg Heights, Ohio. If you see any crew on deck, give them a big wave and wish them a safe voyage. The Pathfinder was originally built as a AAA class steamer for the Interlake Steamship Company to carry iron ore between Duluth Superior and the Lower Lakes. In her later years, she was confined to moving grain on the Great Lakes. This trade eventually declined and caused her to be laid up here in Superior in 1993. To extend her career, it was decided to convert her into a self-unloading barge which was done at Bay Shipbuilding in 1998. Her pusher tug, Dorothy Ann, is the most maneuverable tug of her kind on the Great Lakes. Her Z-Drive engines allow her to stop within 120 feet, turn on her own axis, and move easily in any direction. The Dorothy Ann is currently leaving empty. They arrived last night and discharged salt at the Hallett 5 dock in West Duluth. And she's now leaving empty. So once again, we have the tug and barge, Dorothy Ann and Pathfinder, built in 1998 and 1953 respectively. And they have a combined length of 700 feet. And they're leaving empty today after unloading salt. <laughs> 